This morning routine will make you extremely successful and it will definitely help develop any skills which you're trying to learn and, uh, and it will help you achieve any goals that you have. So if you're trying to be a millionaire, you're trying to build skills and sales, whatever it may be, um, or honestly, if you're just wanting to wake up early and just feel accomplished at the very beginning of the day, then this is a perfect morning routine for you. So every great morning routine starts the night before. So you'll notice I'm wearing glasses. I don't actually need glasses. These are just blue light glasses. It just filters out all of the blue light so that your brain recognizes that the sun is down. It's not getting light entering the eyes anymore. And then you're able to start producing more melatonin, which is supposed to help you fall asleep a lot better. So that's why I wear these. Uh, I normally put them on right at like eight or like 8.30. And then what I also do is uh, I come into the kitchen and I actually brew coffee the night before. Um, I'm weird. I don't like my coffee super, super hot. Um, so I just drink mine like room temperature and my girlfriend will just throw hers in the microwave so that it's hot. Um, and so that as soon as I wake up in the morning, the coffee is literally already brewed and waiting for me in the morning. Another thing that I have to do every night is I cannot have my phone be on my nightstand um, just because if my phone is on my nightstand and there's toilet paper there because I'm sick. Um, if, there, if my phone is on the nightstand, I literally will just snooze it and not get out of bed and I will oversleep every single day. So what I do is <laughs> I have my charger over here by this wall and I literally put my phone like right here every night so that I have to get out of bed, walk up over here, turn my alarm off, and I'm right by the door, and then I just kind of go out, and then in my desk area is where I really kind of start my morning routine. And another big, huge, important thing that helps me sleep a lot more just because, you know, obviously getting up at 5 a.m. is really hard, right? So I actually saw this from this guy's uh, YouTube video. His name is Ravi, uh, Ravi Abubala. And so I set the room uh, temperature to 68 degrees um, because it's just like optimal sleep temperature. So it definitely helps me sleep a lot better. I have noticed it. And uh, I do that every single night so that, you know, I'm just sleep better, you know? And then probably the most important thing that I do is on this whiteboard over here, I write down the top three priorities that I have to do for that morning. Um, and so I already have written down my top three um, top priorities that I want to get done tomorrow morning during the morning routine. I got this from Kevin O'Leary. Um, what he said that he did is that he would write it on a post-it note. And then when he'd be brushing his teeth at night, he just put the post-it note on his mirror. And then when he'd get up in the morning, he would brush his teeth in the morning, peel that sticky note off of the mirror and then go to his desk and he'd knock out those top three things that he wrote on that post note the night before. So that's what I do the night before to get ready for the morning. And now I'm gonna jump cut to the morning. All right guys, so you can see I'm initiating that active energy by having to get up, walk across my bedroom to turn off my alarm. And then like I said, I like to brush my teeth right when I wake up because that like mint or menthol flavor in my mouth kind of wakes me up a bit. Um, meditating is huge. This has been an absolute game changer for me. Obviously a big thing about being an entrepreneur is having discipline and keeping all those habits and stuff. And the way that you stay very disciplined is by being very conscious. And I feel like meditating helps me become very conscious. Um, I read the book, The Compound Effect, and uh, it's really important to keep like a weekly rhythm tracker. Just make sure you're doing all the things you want to do. Every morning, I also journal. Um, journaling has been super huge for me just because on the left side of my journal, I write down my affirmations. I write down everything I'm grateful for. I write down what my goals are. And then on the right side, I write, you know, what's actually been going on in my life. What, what are some things that, you know, happened yesterday? What are things that happened today? Um, and just really kind of just reflecting on, on where I'm at in life and just like where I'm trying to get to as well. Right now, the book that I'm reading is Think and Go Rich. This is very, 
long overdue. I feel like this probably should have been one of the first books I read. Um, it's probably like, this is probably going to be like the 30th book I've read. And I feel like so many people have been telling me to read this. Um, and I can definitely see why. I'm like two thirds of the way through the book. And reading is definitely just like a part of my morning now. Just gets the juices flowing. Oh, by the way, I'm kind of sick. Of course, the day that I decide to, uh, the day that I decide to start recording my morning routine, I wake up sick, right? So um, that kind of sucks. But yeah, to reading. I don't really know about you guys, but I never read as a kid. I never read books in high school. I always like looked up the cliff notes and stuff. But um, I would say now one of my absolute favorite things to do is literally read. I read for. Um, almost an hour every morning, anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes. It's mostly 45 minutes um, is like my minimum, unless like I'm, I'm busy or have something else to do in the morning. But if I am in deep in like a chapter and I want to finish a chapter just because I'm getting a lot of, you know, insight and I'm getting a lot of ideas from the context that's in the book, then, you know, I will for sure read like an entire hour or as long as I need to to go ahead and like finish that chapter. And so um, it's so weird. I went from hating books and just wanting to throw up at the thought of reading to like, this is probably my number one hobby. If I'm not actively pursuing something in my business if i'm not actively hanging out with my girlfriend spending time with family then i'm reading um, which is so weird to say but um it is like the absolute life hack cheat code um because you're just taking all of the knowledge of a successful person's life and um they're putting it on the 200 pages for you so, you know, somebody lived an entire life, went through a bunch of successes and a bunch of failures, and they're literally taking in an entire lifetime of um, experiences and, um, you know, learning moments, and they're putting it literally on 200 pages for you just to be able to consume in like a week. And now you've basically um, seen the lens of an entire successful person's lifetime, and you've done it in a matter of a week. And it's just like, imagine compounding that across 30, 40, 50, 100 books. It, it's, in, it, it's like incredible. Um, and so, you know, if you guys hate reading like I used to, you know, one thing that I would definitely try to, to do is try, try to get into to reading. And so um, I read very, very, very early in the morning. You know, like uh, by, by the time I start reading in the morning, it's like 5.30 in the morning. I'm still kind of tired. So if I find myself, you know, starting to fall asleep while I'm reading, what I do is I will just start doing exactly this. I will just stand up and pace back and forth and then just read while pacing back and forth because I know that if I sit down and the fact that it's like 5.30 in the morning, um, that I'll start to fall asleep. Um, and so obviously I don't want to fall asleep or like go, go back to bed because I love my morning routine. So I literally just pace back and forth and I will literally do this for like 45 minutes to an hour, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, um, I hope, I hope you guys kind of find some value in that. I know that this wasn't on my calendar as part of the morning routine because it's not really super essential, but, um, what I do after I'm done reading is I will just eat a banana I'll have some orange juice, and then I'll just take like a men's, one's, a men's one a day vitamin. And so, again, it's not anything like super important. It's just like, you know, it's just like a very small, light breakfast. I don't really eat a heavy breakfast. I eat a very light breakfast just because, again, I want to keep my mind as clear as possible. And so, um, how do you do that, right? Uh, where well, you don't drink alcohol, you don't smoke, and you don't eat in the morning. Basically, if you fast in the morning, you have way more focus and you have way more clarity. And my morning is literally purely rooted around trying to have as much clarity as possible so I can get as much stuff done before noon as possible. So that by noon, literally all I'm doing is like business meetings. And then after that, then I'm just like done for the day. See ya.
And then here you can just see I'm checking all those boxes off my morning routine. And then now what I do is uh, I jump right into the three top priorities for the day. Um, I'll just knock out these three things. I always write them on my, um, on my whiteboard the night before just so that I know going into the day exactly what the three most important tasks of the day for me um, that like you know I need to do. And so um, I make sure that this is the time that I'm the most hyper-focused. I don't have my phone with me. Um, I will literally go put it in the other room, and I just need to make sure that I knock out these three things every day in order to move the needle forward for my business. Goliath, you excited to go on a walk? You ready for a walk? It's walk time. Let's go. One of my favorite parts about his morning walk is that it's just super quiet. I don't listen to anything. I don't ever have like AirPods in or anything like that. It's just kind of like, um, just like a nice relaxing morning walk. I get to be outside, I get to get some sun. I get to uh, just kind of think about um, random stuff, I guess. And uh, it's uh, literally one of my favorite parts of, of the day is just going for like, you know, 45 to an hour long walk every morning. So. Um, it kind of like separates all the work and stuff that I did in the morning then I get back from the walk then I go kind of start like my active stuff so um, like stretching doing my ab workout then working out and so the walk kind of like warms me up for that and kind of is that divider between just doing stuff inside like reading journaling meditating and my three uh, top priorities for the day and then the walk, and then kind of boom, transitions into the more active stuff of the day. All right, just got back from the walk, fed Goliath. Now what we're gonna do is, I always do stretches in the morning, like I said, um, just because, you know, it just kind of wakes me up a little bit more after the walk, um, and it's good to like stretch before you go work out, right? And so what I do in the apartment is I do my stretches, um, and then I'll do an ab workout right after and then we'll go downstairs and actually start lifting and uh, get a legit workout in All right, so now I'm just getting into my morning stretches. This stretch really stretches out your lower back um, and then this Stretch really helps stretch like your kind of glutes and your hamstrings This stretch is really good for like hip mobility and stuff, especially like running, you know, if you run, that's a good one. Stretching out the hamstrings and lower back here. And then this is like a full leg stretch. Like you literally feel it up and down both legs. It's pretty crazy. Um, and then here, now I'm transitioning just to like my morning ab workout. Um, just, you know, getting the blood flowing for the workout um, afterwards. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much my morning stretch slash yoga all right guys ab workout is done morning stretches are done just filled up my water got my airpods now let's go down to the gym and get a decent workout in all right guys getting warmed up by just running on the treadmill only filmed a few of my workouts just because there was somebody else in the gym so i felt kind of awkward but you know just starting the day off with a really good work all right guys well we just finished up that gym workout that's honestly the last thing that is on my um, morning routine all I'm gonna do is just go shower. We got Goliath here, freaking slumped out after that walk. Uh, he always like takes long naps out after the walks. But I hope that you guys really got some value out of this video. Trust me guys, this morning routine has really, really, really helped me progress and develop myself. Um, definitely just taking that time to better myself every single day definitely reflects on my work and my income. And so if you guys study any of the most wealthy people in the world, you all know that they have a morning routine. Obviously, you guys don't have to do the exact same morning routine. But what I will say is um, definitely go and just buy this book. It's called The Miracle Morning Millionaire. Um, all of the stuff that I got for my morning routine was honestly from that book. That, that book is an absolute game changer. Not sponsored, not affiliated with them at all whatsoever. I'm just saying that that's a great resource. Read that book kind of goes more in depth and uh, really kind of tells you why the morning um, miracle or the miracle morning is so important. 
right? And I kind of do my own variation of the miracle morning. Um, and you guys are going to find your variation of your morning routine as well. I hope you guys got value out of this video. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.